Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog, where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. I want to thank all you guys across New Tech as well as here on YouTube for your guys' continued support. We start things off from the Daily Caller as I wanted to give you guys more of a national news perspective before we move into more local news here in Atlanta. So from the Daily Caller, Donald Trump gives first reaction after surrendering in Georgia. Fulton County Jail, former President Donald Trump approached reporters after surrendering himself Thursday night in Georgia and shared his frustration about his arrest after being fingerprinted and having his mugshot taken. And that's exactly the show trial that the Democrats want, that the establishment uniparty, the leftists all want. They want to dehumanize, they want to humiliate and embarrass Donald Trump and give everyone the impression that this man is a one-dimensional villain and it's absolutely extraordinary because if the, if the Democrats had anything to offer anybody, had anything to offer the American people, they would be talking about the plans and the solutions and the goals and the achievements that could be had if they were able to outline anything that would attract people to their cause or give people cause to vote for them. But that isn't what they're doing. What they're doing is they're going after their political enemies to ensure that they can remain in power and define law and how law is executed by their determination. So when they scream about democracy, what they're talking about is democratic authoritarianism democracy where they're in complete and total control see they're the ones who define what is or isn't lawful so from atlanta first news donald trump arrested booked into fulton county jail full coverage we're going to take a listen to this little clip here president getting out of that suv right now um, as he kind of walks a little bit closer to uh that gaggle of uh the press corps here it comes. Um, the president walking up let's listen in it's a very sad day for America. This should never happen. If you challenge an election, you should be able to challenge an election. I thought the election was a rigged election, a stolen election, and I should have every right to do that. As you know, you have many people that you've been watching over the years do the same thing, whether it's Hillary Clinton or Stacey Abrams or many others. When you uh, have that great freedom to challenge, you have to be able to, otherwise you're going to have very dishonest elections. What? has taken place here is a travesty of justice. We did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. And everybody knows it. I've never had such support. And that goes with the other ones, too. What they're doing is election interference. They're trying to interfere with an election. There's never been anything like it in our country before. This is their way of campaigning. And this is one instance, but you have three other instances. It's election interference. And I would have to agree, as we talk about here on the Buzzweaver channel, and the establishment unit party is going to do everything it can. Now, people are questioning how far will the establishment go? And we heard a lot of that from Tucker Carlson's interview with Donald Trump. I'm not going to get into those specific details, but if you watched it, you would understand how far are the establishment and the Democrats willing to go to ensure that Donald Trump is not elected. It is absolutely in my opinion, or perspective, that it is a form of, of interference because what do the Democrats really have to offer anyone other than we're in charge, shut your mouth, do as we say, we're in power, we define what is lawful or unlawful by our determination. So they can exaggerate, they can sensationalize things into uh, whatever dialogue they want to use to suggest that Donald Trump or anyone is you know, creating insurrection or, or, or other unlawful things, as it were. So here from Fox 5 Atlanta, expected arrival of former President Trump at Fulton County Jail draws big crowd, and it does. So we're going to obviously watch a clip Behind here from me, Fox there 5. Are some uh, Trump supporters here. It's really become almost like a, a mini Trump rally outside the Fulton County Jail. My uh, colleague Tyler Finger has been talking to some of these very colorful supporters, and he joins us now with that part of our coverage. Tyler. 
Yeah, Randy, good afternoon to you. I would say about 100 or so former President Donald Trump supporters are here outside the Fulton County Jail on Rice Street. Take a look. You can see some of them behind me. And then if you look up the street, you can see those flags as well as we pan to Looks the like more than 100 to me. Rice Street. Again, about 100 or so here. Uh, the Fulton County Sheriff's Office has put up metal and plastic barricades since I checked in on Good Day Atlanta about two hours ago. There was a huge show of support for the former president here uh, after he was uh, named one of 19 named in the Fulton County election meddling indictment and this support rally is being put on so he'll know he is not alone in the fight to clear his name. Now I'm not sure why they're not showing like the buses that were coming, the individuals with the big large flags, you know, a lot of that was not covered by the local media. I watched a lot of it on Right Side Broadcast. So right in here is what I mean right here. I don't know if they'll show the, the bus or not but you can see some of the, that's more than just a hundred people there. I can guarantee you that. So there you have the guy with the flag. And then, of course, they had, like, the buses showing up. So definitely more than 100 people. That's all I can tell you. So these are just people uh, with their cameras and, of course, just taking those tight shots. Here's Laura Lomer. Laura Lomer. Hey, everybody. Laura Lomer here. So I am currently standing. Oh, we're getting buffering. But it's just uh, amazing to me that there was a lot of support there. And it was a very, 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 very hot day here in Atlanta. And uh, from 11 Live News here, I'm not sure what happened to the original story. I guess it got bumped. They didn't have a whole lot uh, going on here. Don't be fooled by these fake mugshots of former President Trump. Of course, uh, there's all these uh, shots of him, fake and real. And see, again, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, what have we been talking about here in these last couple of days or weeks concerning Donald Trump? It's all about the mugshot. Well, not entirely all about the mugshot, but... The fact that they have a mugshot is what they're so preoccupied with because this is their glimpse. This is their moment in time to show the point of humiliation and dehumanization of the president where he has to surrender and succumb to the power of the Democrat Party. And as you know, there is a 12-minute video of Democrats denying election results. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, saying that President Trump was not legitimate. I'm going to link this video down below this in the description. So whether you're watching on YouTube or whether you're watching on Alternative Tech or New Tech, you guys can check this out and see, of course, because as we know, the Democrats don't hold themselves to the same standards they expect from everyone else. I would like to get your thoughts and comments down below in the section. What are your thoughts on all that is unfolding? Do you see the persecution? Do you know people in your family who may not be as political as you are or not political at all? Do you see that this seems like, to you at least, to someone rational, cogent, and sober, mostly sober, whether or not this is political persecution? I'm curious to know what your thoughts are down in the comments section. And that's what I had for you guys this Friday. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments, and, of course, all of your support across New Tech. Below this video, you can find the various social media links. Those would include Amazon, where I'm an influencer. If you guys have Amazon Prime or use Amazon frequently to order, be sure to use those links as it helps out the channel. And, of course, all our good friends there, across new tech thank you guys for all of your renewed and continued support and then of course all of you here on youtube that would be the channel icon appearing there right there on the screen to subscribe as well as to select notifications that way you know when there's content here on the channel and i'll see all you guys behind the galaxy phone next week